Hi, this is Rebecca with Rebecca'sRoadMap.com and it is the last day of March. I can't believe that. March has gone by so fast. And it's the end of the first quarter too. This, this year is really kind of flying by. It's been very interesting to me to see where I am at the end of each month based on what goals I set for the year. So I am going to read through those goals and kind of tell you where I am. And if you haven't done something like this, if you haven't done a monthly review of where you are with your goals, please do that because it is a big help to see all the little steps that you've taken and all the little wins that you have accomplished over just a month. That's only four weeks. Just think of all these things. They just add up and they, um, how do you call it, accumulate. <laughs> Um, they accumulate to something really fantastic by the end of the year. So it's never too late to set your goals. So if you haven't set your goals for 2018, why don't you do that? Pause, pause the video and kind of set out some goals for 2018. Now I set my goals based on the square of life. So that is health, wealth, love, and self-expression. So those are the, the core values that I want in my life and that's what my, I have set my goals around. So I'm going to kind of read over my blog post and my goals that I set at the beginning of 2018 and kind of tell you where I am with those. So I got my phone here so if you see me looking down that's why I'm just kind of scrolling through my blog post. So my first goals are health related. I will easily continue my healthy eating plan and lose the final pound until I am at my ideal weight by December 31st, 2018. As of this morning, I've lost an additional three pounds in the month of March for a total of 52 pounds since I started my weight loss journey in May of 2017. So I know three pounds may not seem like a lot to you guys, but Hey, every little pound counts and I am down two sizes and that is, I'm so excited, you guys, so excited. So that I am doing good and how I'm doing that is by weighing my food, not snacking between meals, not tasting things when I'm cooking and eating sugar free and lectin free. And I started a new channel on YouTube so if you're interested I will link that down below it is lectinfree.me it talks about eating lectin free so if you're interested you can head over to that um, the next goal is I will easily optimize my health throughout 2018 and you guys I got the best blood test results I have ever gotten in my life this is like 20 years worth of blood tests. My doctor even said to me, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is like awesome. So my body naturally produces an excess amount of cholesterol. So I don't know that my total cholesterol will ever be low. And since I'm losing weight, all this stuff kind of stored in my body is, you know, in my blood because it's, I'm flushing it out. All the stuff that had been stored in fat cells so my LDL are still a little bit high but what eating brightline eating and then the next level is lectin free eating what that has done for me has increased my HDLs to 72 now I started out like 40 this is just like awesome so going from brightline eating to taking all the lectins out of my diet has increased my HDLs by 20 points. And that was only two weeks eating lectin free. Two weeks. So that's how much inflammation all those things were causing in my body. And my body is just like, oh, that's awesome. So I am doing everything I can and doing a very good job of optimizing my health for 2018. Let's see. Now my next goals are wealth related. I'm not, I shouldn't say I'm not doing good with these. I am making progress on these. I am putting the things in place so that I can hit these goals. 
but I'm not making any money yet. So my wealth goal is I will easily create an income of 15,000 per month by December 31st, 2018. I don't know if you guys know it, but making your first dollar or your first hundred dollars online is like the hard part. Once you figure out how you can do that, then you can kind of up level your income. So I am still putting all of the pieces into place and creating products and doing all the things um, to create content, to create reach, to create an audience. I'm doing all those things and that is going to help with my wealth goal. That is, that's the, the basis, the platform, the foundation of my wealth goal is building online business and creating content and solving people's problems. So I'm still working on that. I'm happy with where I am. I know I can do more. I'm working on it. Still giving, it says, I will easily create an abundance of wealth in my life to share with my friends, family, and the world. I'm still doing my charitable donations that I was doing at the beginning of the year. But this is really giving a portion of the money I'm earning online, the extra money that I'm earning, to charitable organizations or to people who need help. Since I'm not earning any money yet, I haven't done anything with that goal yet. I will easily be productive and accomplish my goals by December 31st, 2018. I am sticking to my planning system. I'm getting things done, usually on a daily basis. I do take a couple of days off here and there. I do, and it's good for me but I am producing content on a weekly basis and I'm working on my business in all the spare time that I have. So I am feeling very productive and I'm actually making plans and actually doing the things on my plans. I'm sticking to the plans and it's wonderful. And I am following David Allen's Getting Things Done. If you guys don't know anything about that, I will kind of link my planning system down below. If you guys need some help getting your goals done, that has helped me tremendously. Uh, my next goal is love. I will easily be generous with my family and overcome my miserly tendencies by December 31st, 2018. I'm doing better with this. I am making a conscious effort to talk to and spend time with my family members. And I have been sending my um, daughter Erin, she's at college, so I've been trying to send her something at least once a month just to let her know that I haven't forgotten about her. So this month I sent her a couple of things that she actually asked for and one was a um, like a Bluetooth hookup. Her car doesn't have Bluetooth but you can plug the little dill and the cigarette lighter and um, it connects to your phone so you don't have to like use the cords and stuff. I'll, I'll link that below because I'm not sure what all but she's like she wanted one it would help her when she's driving and want to answer her phone or talk on her phone or, or whatever. I'll link that below so you guys can see what in the world I'm talking about. The other thing that she wanted was some flavored stevia for her coffee. I think I got her the hazelnut one. Pretty sure I got her the hazelnut one but um, she likes flavored coffee but she is trying to cut back on the sugar and watch her health. So she usually, usually uses a little bit of almond or coconut milk and some flavored stevia in her coffee. So I sent her a new one and she said it was really good. So I'll link that down below if you guys are interested in hearing about that. Oh, well the one thing I did forget to mention was um, one, of the one of the ways I would do that is by having quarterly excursions with my husband and having date nights. So we just went, let's see, this is our second concert for March on um, was it the 8th? I think it was the 10th. On the 10th of March, we went to see Shooter Jennings at um, Liberty Hall, which is our local theater. And it's uh, not a um, movie theater. It's, you know, one of the stage theaters, old time theaters. And then last night, we went to the best concert. It was so awesome by, um, I'm going to say try and say her name right because she said that everybody says her name wrong. It's not Deanna. It's Dina. Dina Carter. And I will link her YouTube video, uh, YouTube channel down below if you guys are interested in uh, seeing what she has to say. She is a Christ follower and she is um, a fantastic songwriter. And with this little, um, I don't know if it was the first time she'd done this or maybe one of the first times, but it was so cool. She started out with the story of her life from like 
her parents before she was even born and she told about how she grew up and about her family and what had inspired songs that she wrote and it was just it was really a cool time so I've been on two dates with my husband for this month and we will try and do that more often because we had a great time okay self-expression I will easily produce written and visual content for myself to share with the world by December 31st 2018 now art journaling was one thing that I wanted to do and that that just hasn't happened I've been saying spending so much time making videos and writing blog posts and doing all the things I can to build my business that I just have not found the time to sit down and do any art journaling which eventually I will because you know there's a season in life for everything and the season I'm in right now is building my business and that is more important to me than sitting down and doing art journal pages but also my goal was to create content that I'm doing I'm doing that part of the goal I'm creating this video here and I've created a whole nother YouTube channel electedfree.me so I'm creating content for that so I think I'm doing a good job at expressing myself and letting people know who I am and helping people hopefully that's my last goal for um, 2018 and my last update for March of 2018 so again it's never too late to set goals if you haven't set goals then go go do that just set them for the next month or the next quarter they don't have to be your goal if you can't look that far out you can make smaller goals but if you don't make any goals you don't have anything to reach for you don't have anything to plan towards you have no destination you have no you don't know where you're going so figure out where you're going set some goals so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to keep seeing my videos hit the subscribe button and then hit that little bell so you'll get announcements from YouTube when I put a new video up which is usually a couple times a week um, and I say do some kind of action plan with me videos that tell you what actions I'm going to be taking for the next week so if you're interested in um, seeing that kind of thing I'll link this next week's down below here also or the last week's whichever one I have up and edited I'll link that down below too so as always I really 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 appreciate you spending this time with me thank you for watching you guys have a wonderful day